it's time to turn this house into a home. We moved in at the beginning of March and then everything happened with COVID-19. So that put a hard stop on everything that we were needing to do, all of the projects that we have. We have big plans for this house, big projects, and we're finally starting to get some of those going. And I can't wait to show you what we're gonna be doing. Hey guys, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. This is the first video in my house to home series that I'm going to be doing where I share with you all of the projects that we're doing on this house. This is a new construction house that we just bought in Bakersfield, California. Whitney picked the house out all by himself. Of course, we did use technology and I was pretty brave in all the houses we've had. I've never let him buy one without me seeing it first, but that's what we did on this house. So I am excited to show you our new house and let you in on all of the projects that we're gonna be doing. Since I'm doing this as a mini house tour, I decided to start with the outside. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. I do need to do some things on the front porch. And then we tried to do something in these planters in the front, but that was an epic fail. These little rose bushes died. And then we were gonna put something else on the bottom. But since unfortunately our little rose bushes didn't live any longer than about a day, we're gonna have to do something with that. And then I am going to be doing some things with the porch. Right now, that's not actually my first priority, but I will be doing some things like get a new mat because this is way too small. And then this area is very narrow, so I'm trying to figure out what to do in this area. I'm open for suggestions and ideas. If y'all have any, let me know. When you walk in the front door, you can see straight through the back. So you see the windows in the back have no window treatments. And I'll talk to you more about that later. So that walks into the great room, the living room area. But in this hallway, you have two rooms. So I'm gonna step back so you can see. On this side, you have the one room, which is intended to be the office, but we've changed what we're doing. And then if I walk around like this, you can see over here we have the dining room. And the, the reason I wanted to show you these two rooms and how they are configured is because you see both of them when you walk in from the front door. So as we're decorating these, we are trying to make sure that we're being cohesive and having it flow from the two rooms. Not that we need to have everything be the same or totally matchy matchy, but we want it to look intentional and like it was planned and we thought out both of these rooms together. When we bought the house, we knew that we wanted this front room to the right of the front door to be a media room. It's a very small room, but we knew that it had the potential to actually make a nice, cozy little media room. We so enjoyed the media room that we had in our last house. Of course, it was much bigger than this, but we loved it and we knew that it would be nice to have a place to put all of our media equipment in here. And we just thought this would be a way we would really enjoy using this room. And that would be one thing I would say to you is, even though a room doesn't make sense necessarily for everybody else, make it what you want and how it's gonna be comfortable for you to use so that you can enjoy your own house. Even though we're using this as a media room, we wanna make sure that it's pretty because it is at the front of the house. Well, as pretty as it can be for a media room. This is the TV that we just had installed. Finally, we were able to get all of our TVs installed and we used Best Buy to do that. I will be making a totally separate video about all of that. 
so you can see the process and I'll give you some tips and tricks along the way. In order to make the most of the little bit of space in this room, we decided that we needed to remove the doors. So we took the doors off of the hinges before they came to install the TVs, so that way we would maximize all of the space in the room. Because we want this to be a media room, we do want doors. So what we're gonna do instead is we are gonna put doors on the outside in the entryway and those are going to be barn doors and we're going to redo the casing so it's not the type of casing that has the hinges on it and that type of thing like it is now it's just going to be a flat casing so it'll be pretty and look like it belongs rather than like we just took the doors off we're getting new window treatments for all of the windows in the house. What you see here in the media room and then also behind me in the media room are just temporary drapes that we ended up buying from Amazon, some inexpensive drapes with a tension rod because it was starting to get hot. And then also we were really wanting some privacy, especially in these front rooms. And then in a couple of the rooms in the back, we ended up doing the same thing. And in our bedroom, we have paper shades that we put up right when we moved in. So we've always had that. I'm really excited about the window treatments that we're gonna be getting. We're getting new window treatments throughout the house. So in these two rooms, we are gonna be getting shutters and drapes. And so I'll show you the fabric that we're doing because it's gonna be a dual treatment there with both of those things. And I'm gonna be making a video all about this. So I'm just giving you an overview right now, but I'm gonna show you the samples. I feel like the window treatments are gonna make a huge impact in these two rooms, but we also do need to still decorate these rooms. For the artwork in the dining room, I'm gonna be using the large Audubon bird picture that you see in the middle. Now the frame and the matting are dated. So I have decided that I'm probably gonna paint the frame black back but we're going to be putting this other bird picture that has all the pink in it in the media room and so my thought is with that the matting actually works really well with that and it'll help pull these two rooms together so I'm probably going to leave the matting like it is paint the frame black that way it'll go with all of our other black frames that we have throughout the house the detail on this frame works really well with the detail on this frame. Can you see both of these together? It works so nicely together. So I'm just gonna paint this black. And then if it turns out that I think I need to change the matting, I can do that later. But I think it's actually gonna work nicely to pull that little bit of color into this room. Then I'm gonna be shuffling the artwork around a little bit and moving the large picture over to this wall because it'll fill that up nicely. And then putting this one over the buffet. And I think that's gonna work nicely. And then the small picture I'm thinking will look nice just over this little light fixture right here. We're back in the media room and I just wanted to show you this painting is going to go on this wall over here. We're going to have the floor to ceiling drapes that go behind the shutters and then we will put the painting on this side. And when I worked with the designer for all of the drapes, I also made sure she knew about the painting. So we're making sure that we're gonna have plenty of room to be able to hang it. That wall is wider than the wall on this side. And I think this is gonna be the perfect complement to the other picture once that frame is painted black and it'll be hanging over here in the dining room, over the buffet. We also need to buy some side tables. Um, the cardboard boxes just aren't working <laughs> for me aesthetically. So we are going to end up buying some um, end tables to go here. And then of course, probably some lamps and stuff too. I don't know what all of that will be yet. And then the other thing we're gonna do in this room is we will get something to use as an ottoman right here. So I'm not sure exactly if we'll get, you know, a couple different little cubes or different things, but something so we can put our feet up while we're watching TV. And I just wanted to show you, this is a little piece that I had that goes with our meteor console, but it can sit it 
right here and you can see what it might look like once that frame is painted black and i actually think it's going to look really nice i think what dates it is the combination of the gold and the burgundy so i'm excited to see how it turns out in the great room we are going to be doing some window treatments but we're not putting anything in the windows themselves because we really don't need privacy in this room because we don't have anything too much behind us, as you can see. So privacy isn't an issue, but I do think it looks bare without having anything over those windows. We're gonna be doing a special window treatment here, and I'm not gonna tell you too much about it. I wanna surprise you with that one, but I will show you a sneak peek of the fabric that we're gonna be doing. And then over here in this corner, we definitely need to do something. So what we're going to be doing here is buying another media cabinet that's just like this one. It's from Restoration Hardware, and they do make it in a smaller size. It is going to be a tight fit because it comes in 60 inches, and this space is exactly 60 inches. But this one was... A little bit shy of the 80 inches that they said so we're hoping it'll be the same and it'll fit if anything we're thinking we might just have to cut a little piece of the baseboard to be able to get it to fit but it should fit if we do that so fingers crossed that will work and fit and so then it'll look really balanced on both sides and we'll need something to go on the wall over that and what we're gonna do is take this painting from right here since we're going to have the barn door we're just going to move this painting over and if you can see these both together i think you'll see that the black from this painting will balance out the tv really nicely and this painting also has the blue in it which will complement the blue in the painting over the fireplace so i'm really excited about that i think that's going to make a huge impact and that corner will look a lot better once we get that cabinet in there. We're also doing window treatments in all of the bedrooms and those are gonna be cellular shades. So I'll show you those when I do the video of them installing all of our window treatments and giving you the big reveal of that. The other project that we're gonna be doing inside is getting light fixtures. I don't know if you've noticed, but we have no light fixtures in this house. So if you can see behind me, there's no light fixtures over the island. Every, I'm gonna shoot it up so you can see everything is just recessed lights. But we do have it wired for lights to put over the island here. There's nothing wired to put over the dining room table, but we're debating possibly doing something over the dining room table. We will be doing something in the entryway because as you can see, it is wired for it, but there's nothing there right now. And then the same in the dining room. We don't have anything in the dining room, but as you can see, it is wired for it. So we're gonna be putting a light fixture in there. And I haven't decided about the media room yet. We might put something in the media room, but I'm not really sure because we're gonna have a lot going on in that little space. All right, now I can't wait to show y'all the best part. The majority of our budget for what we're spending on this house is going outside and I cannot wait to take you out here and show you because this is the best space in the whole house and why we bought the house. All right guys, I am outside on the patio. So as you can see, I just came out of these doors right here, that's the sliding door and it goes all the way back to where the master bedroom is. So where you see the bench at the end, that is where the master bedroom is. And I am going to be buying new furniture for all of this. We may end up reusing our patio furniture that we have here over by the bedroom, but I'm not sure. The bench was my dad's and that's like a forever piece that I will always keep, but I am planning to refinish that and then we'll probably keep it over by the bedroom area. So let me tell you about this. So here's the fireplace. I'm gonna move over here so you can see the fireplace. We had our TV installed and then we did have some speakers installed out here. So we're all ready to go for that. So here, 
I'm going to do something as a living room seating area right here when you walk out the door and that's what you'll see from inside the house and then the space where I'm standing right now is over these windows right here so that section I'll come out here so you can actually see it better so this section we are going to be making a dining room and I'm so excited for that. So I'm going to get a dining table and that's going to go right here. And then my living area will be over here. And then we're going to have a separate living area over here where, like I said, I'm going to do some type of furniture arrangement, decorating over here. And then we have the doors that go into the master bedroom. So in the morning, if I want, I can come right out and get a little bit of morning sunshine. I've always dreamed about having an outdoor space like this and one of the other cool things about it is you can see the panels on this sliding door and the first two panels open up completely. So as you can see these fold back into the last door so when the weather's nice we will be able to open up this entire space and really enjoy some indoor outdoor living and i'm so excited about that i really can't wait till all this is done we don't do it right now because it is so dusty and then of course right now it's summer and hot but this is something i'm truly looking forward to so the obvious project that we have to do is the backyard and of course this is where this whole back area is where we wanted to spend most of our budget. I'm so excited because we are going to be getting a pool. We're in the phase right now where we've gotten our design down and we've signed the contract with the pool company, but we are waiting to get approval. So it's not set in stone yet. Um, it's possible something could happen, but fingers crossed everything's going to go well. And within a few months, Hopefully by around September, we will have our pool done. And I can't wait to get rid of all this dirt in the backyard. It's so filthy back here. And I think once we get all of the yard done, it'll be great. So you can see in the pool design that I'm showing you, the pool is gonna be very large. And then we're doing some grass because we do plan to get another dog once the yard's done. And I'm going to be talking to y'all more about the dog at another time. Um, y'all know we miss our ace so much, but we are going to be getting another dog. And we wanted to have plenty of grass for the dog. And then we're also going to be doing some landscaping in the back. Um, and hopefully it's going to turn out and just look beautiful, but we're so excited about getting the patio done and then the pool area done. Whitney can't wait to get a barbecue pit because we had the built-in at our last home and he doesn't have one right now. That's a smoker that you see over there. So he's chomping at the bit for barbecue. So anyway, we are so excited and I'm really looking forward to bringing y'all along on this journey with us. All right, so that's what we have in the works for right now. There's a lot that's been going on and we still have a lot to come. I can't wait to take you on this journey with us and show you everything as it gets done. And along the way, I'm gonna be giving you some tips and tricks as much as I can for all of the different projects, letting you know the good, the bad, and the ugly for how everything went in case you're thinking about possibly doing any of this for yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and also turn on your bell notifications so you'll get notified when all of my new house to home videos come out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. Catch you in the next one. Bye.